hello sweet team welcome back to my channel this is sweet ajele i am so excited to be with you all today and i hope everyone is doing wonderfully well as you can see i am prepping and cleaning some abo boy yes bambara beans is on the menu today and they usually have foreign objects in there so i like to check it and get rid of that once that is done i'm going to go ahead and wash it very nicely then we will parboil it why parboiling it will get rid of some of the gas otherwise you can soak it overnight but mm, at times you just decide to eat it so this is what you have to do <laughs> okay so i'm just going to cover it bring it to a boil once it boils i'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat and allow it to cool down completely because there will be a second inspection y'all yes i'm going to inspect this a second time because as much as we love it there are some insects that love it more than us and they unfortunately get to it before us okay i have additional ingredients which are hot pepper shallots and tomatoes okay now it's been parboiling for about 10 minutes so i'll turn the fire off and let it cool down completely now it is time for our second inspection and the first one i pick up yes during my inspection i missed this but trust and believe they are in there okay so yes there's an insect right in there i hope you saw that so what i like to do is to roll it from one palm to the other while checking it and if i see there's a hole or i see a black spot on it disqualified <laughs> <laughs> i'll just put it to the side because i do not want to be eating have you ever had a boboy and then as you're enjoying it you feel a crunchiness no 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 no. that's a bug or that's an insect that you do not want to be enjoying my mom said oh well yeah meaning we've had it all our lives and it will not kill us but i just feel uncomfortable with it so i like to get it all out so yeah Mm -hmm. like i always say job. next i'm going to wash it nicely because yeah after par boiling you just need to give it a good good wash and then we will continue with the cooking process okay so i'm going to put it back in the pressure cooker to that i'll add some water i'll add enough water to cover it completely cover it activate the pressure and let it cook for about 45 minutes on medium heat after it comes to a boil without disturbing it and yes these are the disqualified ones my sweet look at this one it had about 10 holes oh my goodness these insects come on see it's a lot but hey i got them out and that's all that matters at this point it's been cooking for about 45 minutes i'm going to check it look at that it's already beginning to be nice and tender you need a pressure cooker yeah i'm telling you you're going to love it <laughs> so now i'm just adding the veggies and i'm going to continue cooking it until the veggies are nice and tender okay so they are i'm just going to get them out and grind them our boboy is nice and tender all right now i wanted to point out that adding tomatoes while making bambara beans is very very optional i like to do that because then my kids get to have their veggies without knowing it <laughs> all right once i grind it nicely i'm going to strain it back into the beans and then we're going to continue but usually we add red chili peppers to this recipe aquile wabi but that is way too spicy and i want my kids to enjoy this so the amount of pepper that i put is just perfect but to give it that beautiful orangey color i add 
paprika that will give it that perfect about boy um color without too much heat i then season it with some salt because you never want to start cooking beans with salt that will only prolong the cooking process all right now we just want it to thicken up and it is doing just that so i'll lower the heat until it is thickened to my preference and there you go it is nice and thick it is just beautiful next i'm making my tatali yes yeah, so you cannot enjoy a boy without um any type of plantain product okay and today tatali all the way plantain pancakes all right or you can choose to use kaklo if you don't care for tatali it's still going to be delicious but if you're too lazy to go through all this just cut up your plantains and make yourself some kelewili or just regular fried platanos okay <laughs> and that is it y'all i'm just going to serve and enjoy thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel this is sweet ajili thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team i love you all so so much until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke unami ni uchemi sweet mahabotu bye y'all